Hey there guys, happy holidays from the Fish Factory. Thanks for stopping by to check out our new livestock update video. Uh, just got a shipment in from the Indo-Pacific. Here we're showing you some really nice large uh, Perkula clowns, false Perkula clowns. These guys came in monstrous. They're about uh, three to four inches. Really good size on these guys. Some more here. Also got in a nice uh, large black and white Heniocus butterfly. Very cool fish, good community fish. Um, not for the reef tank, but does well with others. Uh, in this tank, we got brown, brown and white hennies and powder brown tang. The hennies are the striped ones there, the powder brown. Both those guys are about uh, three to four inches. Um, uh, the tang is excellent in a reef tank. They do well with others. Uh, the tangs, usually they're okay with other tangs except for other powders type, like powder blue, they'll fight. And then the heniocus, same as the black and whites, they will do well in uh, most community tanks as well. Nice uh, variety of green chromis here. Got a bunch of these guys in, and they range from about an inch and a half to two inches. Um, great starter fish, good community tank fish, also do well in a reef tank. Nice purple tang there, Red Sea purple tang. Uh, another good reef tank aquarium fish. Here we've got some, these guys are a little bit shy, so we'll uh, go slow here. But these guys are uh, pink spot antheus. Uh, very cool fish. Uh, like to, they're a little bit shy, so they like to go in like tanks of live rock, stuff like that. Non-aggressive though, will do well with others, um, and they like to be in a group as well. Uh, medium sized raccoon butterfly there. He's about uh, four or five inches. Another good community fish. And some royal gramas. And there's a little clown there. There's a royal grama. Uh, another good community fish as well. Up here we've got a nice uh, vagabond butterfly uh, hiding up underneath the rocks there. Uh, another good community fish. This guy's a little small. He's about three inches. Um, good in a fish only tank. Non aggressive. Not fur in the reef tank as well. Uh, butterfly here. The lattice butterfly. Uh, this guy is also about uh, two and a half, three inches. Uh, some nice cleaner wrasse there, and another powder brown. There's also hiding on the rock that you can see his head sticking out. Some real nice black widow blennies, big guys. They're about four or five inches up. Oh, there's another one down here. And uh, good algae eaters. They do well in the reef tank. And then a long nose hawk, and a maroon clown there. Long nose hawk, uh, another good reef community fish. Uh, does well as long as nothing can fit him in his mouth. Uh, up here we got some nice uh, dwarf lionfish. See one hanging out on the rock there. He's a little bit bigger. That guy's about uh, four and a half, five inches, and there's they go down to about three inches on some of them. Large tomato clown. Here we got some yellow damsels, yellow chromis. These guys are uh, tend to be relatively non-aggressive, um, good in the community tank as well, and I add a little bit of color uh, if you're looking for something along that lines. The blue tang there, hepatitis blue tang, and another moon clown. And then hiding down underneath there is a uh, pearl scale butterfly. Another nice community fish, not suitable for a reef aquarium, however. Huma Huma triggers came in. We got uh, three of them, I believe. These guys are, this one's here, the largest of the three. He's about uh, two and a half, three inches, and there's a couple smaller ones. Oh, there's one there. Uh, they're about two inches. Real nice clown trigger here. That guy is about uh, four inches. Um, Semi-aggressive. You usually want to keep those with other more aggressive fish. Uh, puffers, lines, things like that, and then a lunar wrasse, another uh, semi-aggressive fish there. Let's see. Uh, these guys, Niger trigger here, about four inches in that guy, and a pink tail, Ooh, pink tail trigger. Uh, both of those are more on the aggressive side, so you want to keep those with more uh, aggressive fish. Uh, another tomato clown, some yellow tangs there, and the uh, red-tailed Pakistani butterfly, very cool. Also got in some damsels. We got uh, three stripes here. Good starter fish. Uh, blues. And also got in, uh, here we go, uh, yellow bellies. These guys are uh, all great community fish, good starter fish. Tend to be a little bit on the aggressive side, so you don't want to keep them with anything that's uh, too delicate. In the inverse section, we got some uh, chocolate chip stars. Uh, decorator crab, you can see there. Uh, let's see, pillow stars, and a couple linkia stars, and there's a coral beauty that just came in. Real nice community fish, he's about three inches, I got a couple of those. And there's also some um, prawn gobies, you see those guys, they're about four or five inches. Uh, up here we got a nice uh, medium, oh, there you go. medium size uh, purple tang, red sea purple tang, and then some nice eight line wrasses, and these are reef safe wrasses that do well. And they'll help control uh, some of the nuisance stuff, you don't want bristle worms and things like that. Uh, in here we've got some red fiddler crabs, and a bunch of small uh, hermits. Uh, yellow headed, golden headed watchman gobies. 
really cool uh, sand sifting goby. They'll like to hang out on the bottom. There's some um, Debilius lobsters. You can see them sticking his head out there. Not as normal. Over here, we've got some mandarin gobies. Very cool reef dwelling fish. They do well in an established aquarium. Non aggressive. Uh, there's another coral beauty in here hanging out. Uh, there he is. Um, and oh, there he goes. A half black angel. There's a uh, Orbic bat fish, nice orbic bat, medium size, and this guy, and they do get pretty big, so that's to be in a bigger tank. They get about eight inches when they're full grown. Uh, there's a six line rats hanging out underneath there. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, no coral beauty, and then a half black of nice uh, multicolor and uh, long spine urchins. Great for a cleanup crew in the reef aquarium. Here's another uh, lobster big guy here. Then guy cardinals here. Uh, we've got some nice feather dusters, some red leg hermit crabs. There, a little bit larger on those guys. And we probably won't do that. There's one. Sand Sifton Stars, great uh, detritus uh, cleanup crew. And Nasarius Sails, larger than Nasarius Snails. Great for keeping the bottoms clean. And then over in these tanks, we got uh, some more of the dwarf animals. We got some half blacks here. And our Coral Beauty, half black there. And there's also. If I can find some of them, here we go. there's some nice serpent stars, and there's also sea hares. Uh, they're all hiding out in the rocks here. I can't find one, but the sea hares are excellent. We got six of them, I believe. Those are great for uh, hair algae problems. They love the munch on the hair algae. And then a couple of anemones as well. We got uh, nice uh, sea bay and long tentacles here. You can see the clown hanging out in that sea bay. And some boda boda snails, very cool boda boda snails, and some more of those urchins. And if you see anything you like, guys, give us a call, 414-546-2201. We'll be happy to put it on hold for you for 24 hours. And you can also check uh, the new inventory on the website, thefishfactoryonline.com, to see what we had on order. Um, be sure you take advantage of our marine super sale. The more you buy, the more you save. Give us a call, and we'll tell you all about that. In just a second, we'll go take a look at the new freshwater. All right, now on the freshwater side of things, we got some nice fish to show you. All came in from the far east. Here we got some real nice pigeon blood discus. Good size, medium size in these guys, two and a half, three inches. Uh, brilliant blues here. And this thing we got snakeskin and green turquoise. Some real nice uh, black ghost knives here. These guys are about three inches at the moment. Good community fish. Do well uh, in with most other uh, tank mates. Um, Shy, but uh, very cool, very neat conversation piece. Some real nice large uh, neons, very popular. Uh, these guys are pretty good size too. These are about an uh, inch and a half on most of them. And let's see, over here we got nice dwarf frogs. Dwarf frog, cloud frogs, very popular with the kids. And these guys are the ones that stay smaller, so they're not gonna cause a problem as they get bigger. Uh, nice assorted veil angels. Another good community fish. Nice mixture here. Beautiful gold rams. Good community fish, dwarf cichlid. They do well in warmer water with non-aggressive tank mates. Uh, Harlequin rasporos, another good community fish. Smaller, smaller community fish goes excellent in like a planted tank with discus angels, things like that. Fire Dwarf Grammys, very nice, uh, great for adding some color in the tank, and uh, these are about as big as they get, about two and a half to three inches. Um, not aggressive, will do well in most community tanks, pretty much any size, 10 gallons and up. Nice green bronze sailfin mollies. Some very cool cheetah puffers here, uh, dwarf puffers. Um, like to eat brine shrimp, floodworms, things like that. And this is about all the bigger they get. They get only about an inch long. Very cool though. Uh, white clouds, great for uh, smaller tanks for kids, very hardy and do well um, with other community fish. Also got in some really nice, where did they go? There we go. Uh, Yo-Yo loaches. These guys are uh, very cool, great bottom feeders. They do well. Uh, Keeping things clean in the tank, and uh, we'll do well in most community aquariums. We got pink tiger barbs. These guys are about an inch, inch and a half. Another cool uh, variety of tiger barbs. Semi-aggressive. Don't, usually don't want to keep them with angels unless you got a school of them, but very hardy to do well in uh, smaller tanks as well. Over here, we got some kobatai loaches. These guys are awesome. 
Uh, you can see them scooting around doing their thing. Uh, another good bottom feeder, and they do well with most community fish. Orange tail marble mollies is a new variety we haven't seen before. Very cool. You can see the orange on the males there. Um, just the back of the tail is very cool. Like a Dalmatian almost with the orange. Very neat. And these guys are uh, about an inch and a half, two inches, and they'll do well also in most community tanks. Cracking loaches. Very cool bottom feeder algae eater. Uh, you can see one sticking on the front there. Those have been very popular for us. Uh, smaller serpent tetras, excellent starter fish, do well in the community aquarium. Assorted small Oscars. Here we got some nice medium sized clown loaches. These guys are about three inches, two and a half to three inches. Great bottom feeder. Nice medium sized bala sharks, uh, about three to four inches on these guys. Another good uh, community fish. Red velvet wag swords, another popular uh, sword tail. These guys do well in the community tank as well. Uh, jelly bean parrots, we got blues, purple, pinkish, goldish, they're all hiding out now. But very cool fish, uh, they get good size on those too, so they do well in larger tanks. Nice large black mollies. Here we got figure eight puffers, good size on these, about two inches on these guys. And these are on the aggressive side, so you gotta be careful with what you keep them with. Um, very popular, very cute fish, um, and they almost have a personality, very neat. Painted glass fish. Another uh, popular community starter fish as well. Red velvet swords. We got some nice uh, half black angels. And similar quarries, a pretty rare variety of quarry here. Good bottom feeders. And some nice blue rams as well. And in the plant room, we'll show you we got some real nice. Uh, sumo loaches. These guys are very cool. You see the red starting to come out on a lot of them in the middle of the body. Very neat fish. Um, good bottom feeder. Community fish do well with others. There's a real nice one in the back there with the red on. Um, these guys are about three inches and they'll do well in the community aquarium. And also some gold uh, placos here. Good algae eaters. And some really cool, these are crown killifish. fish. Um, these guys are real small, only about an inch long. You can see they're very neat, very unique, uh, one I haven't seen in a long, long time. Um, they love to be in a planted aquarium, I like to have cover like this, you can see them hanging out underneath the driftwood. Alright guys, if there's anything you like, give us a call, 414-546-2201, we'll be happy to put it on hold for you. Thanks for checking it out, and have a great holiday.